Hello, we're here today at the Leaders in Tech Summit at London Tech Week 2019. And today I'm joined by Claire Barkley, the Chief Operating Officer of Microsoft UK. So Claire, what have you been discussing here at the event today? Yeah, well, so first it's amazing to be here at London Tech Week and actually just from hearing all the speakers, um, just an incredible time to be in the technology industry. Um, but specifically what I've been talking about this morning is really about the opportunity that we have as, uh, as technology companies. Um, and my focus this morning was really around um, AI um, and both the opportunity that that represents, but also some of the challenges that that represents uh, for business leaders. If you think about Microsoft for the last 30 years have been democratizing technology to try and bring it to all and we're trying to take a similar stance with AI and that was what I was talking to the leaders about this morning. Great and why do you think companies should be thinking about AI today? Yeah well if you think about um, the level of competitive disruption that's going on for companies. Um, we did a piece of research um, uh, just this year with 3,000 business leaders and 41% um, of them said that due to technology disruption and competition they thought their business could cease to exist within five years. And so, um, but on top of that, only there's less than 50% of them that are doing anything about it, which is kind of odd. Um, so I think part of the rally cry really this morning was the opportunity that AI will bring them for competitive differentiation, but also for how they can think about the societal good for some of the world's biggest problems. So if they're thinking about the balance of business advantage, um, as well as solving some of the world's problems, that's kind of the opportunity that the leaders have here today. And what advice would you give to companies who are just embarking on their artificial intelligence journey? Well, I mean, I think for starters, it's about kind of making sure that they lean in and learn. You know, so I think a lot of the business leaders, um, questions I get asked from business leaders is kind of like, what does this mean for me and what do I do? So we also, I also talked today about the AI Business School, which is available for all leaders to learn about kind of the principles of AI, the ethics of AI, what some of the applications could be. So that would be a great place to start. And then typically, um, what I would say to all business leaders is just pick something that's a business problem that where AI could have a good application for it, pilot it, try it, get going. Um, and then the second piece of advice I would give them is to make sure that they think about involving their people and getting them skilled up in the process. So you kind of have your own skills, you have get going with some projects, and then you have um, focusing on your people and involving them in the innovation that you're driving. Great, and of course Microsoft are here today as the headline partners of London Tech Week for yeah. the third year running. Yeah. So why do you think this event is so important to business? You know, I think it's, um, it's like the ecosystem all in one place. And um, you know, if you think you've got all of the tech startups, you've got our competitors, you've got um, small tech companies, um, you've got the government. So I think it's, it's a very special um, event for bringing all of the technology companies together in one place. And as I say, we have so much opportunity, but there are also some challenges that we're wrestling with. Um, I hope we'll learn together, and I hope as a result of this event that we'll have more inspiration and opportunity in the year ahead. Fantastic. And how have you found this year's event so far? Yeah, amazing. I mean, I'm looking forward to the speakers for the rest of the week, but um, certainly so far, so good. Great. Thanks right. very much for taking the time to speak to us today. Yeah, pleasure. Pleasure.